All right. Thanks to thanks to the VOD viewers for, for watching. You guys are awesome. Um, <clears throat> go it's gone live all right I'm gonna post my socials publish tweet See you later there you go this is done. So right now I'm literally waiting on glue to, to dry and take form right here on this guy. I don't want to move anything or do anything until I suppose I could turn this around real quick just to see. Ugh, I don't know about that bond. Add some more glue in the back. Hopefully, it can take hold. I need it to fuse. Fuse. Yeah, so I've got three nice kit bashes to paint. This got this, got this one here. Got this one here. And I've got this one here with the big gun. So, um, yeah. We're going to take our time and paint those very, very nice. Very nicely. So yeah, we're gonna chill. We're gonna chill while we wait for this to to uh, to fuse together. See if anyone shows up. I'm an hour early. Be nice. We have a few people showed up. Crazy Kiwi! Hi friend! How are you doing? I'm on an hour early, so I figured yeah, some people might show up. Really glad you're here. How you been? Right now I'm literally waiting on glue to fuse these two pieces together. I'm doing pretty good, thank you. Thank you. It's a good it's a good day. It's a beautiful day. So what have you been uh, building lately? I haven't caught your stream in forever. 
So, last time I saw you building a um, noodle shop, maybe? Hmm. Okay, so it's not too, too late. A lot of people go to bed, you know, at midnight and stuff, so. Yeah. So I guess it's not a... I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to think here. Last last stream I caught of yours was... It was a while back. It was a while back. Oh my gosh. Our schedules just don't uh, don't coincide, eh? That's that's how it is sometimes. Oh, nice! Star Wars, man. Star Wars is always fun. I tell you, can't go wrong with Star Wars. Which uh, which set was it? The next room's for your birthday. Right, and, and hang on, don't tell me. Your birthday is either August 2nd or 8th. You share it with, you share it with my mom on the 8th, if I remember correctly. August 8th. Am I, am I correct? Yeah, there we go. My gosh, I remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the eighth and the eighth in New Zealand is is the seventh here, right? It's it's uh, yeah. <laughs> There's an actual exclamation point claps that exists on my stream. You can actually physically clap. <laughs> we'll we'll hear it. We'll hear it on stream. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that's an example of what I what I, what I've been doing lately. So I've been building these. These minifigs, and I've been um, I've been painting them and getting them ready for the battlefield, basically. Uh, so I'm doing. Um... Oh, nice! Oh, there you go, claps. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's an ad break right now that might be on for people. Uh, that will end in a minute and 15 seconds. So we're not going to talk about anything too important right now. Uh, because we don't want the folks without, uh, what is it called, Turbo? We don't want the folks without Turbo to miss out. Ah, there you go. There you go. All good. So yeah. I'll uh, I'll talk again in about forty five seconds when when uh, when people come back from the from the ad limbo as we call it. Yeah, so that one caused me grief before. It looks like it's causing me grief again. That freaking guy, I tell you. almost as if I should uh, switch out um, the, the type of um, the type of magnets I put underneath it's probably too strong and it makes the makes the foot kind of come off that's what I'm thinking yeah welcome back welcome back I didn't really talk about anything important during that ad break so there you go it's nice um it's the first time i see this that um twitch actually warned me in chat that there was an ad break on for a minute and 15 seconds or however long it was and uh i'm set for three minutes of ads every every hour so uh that's to get the to get the nicer cut um so yeah it's not it's not too too bad oh thank you i i do i do it myself i, I do my own haircuts i've been doing my own haircuts for 30 years and uh yeah ever since i left home i've been cutting my own hair i mean I, i've gone to the shop a, a few times but 
it's expensive for what it is, so I, I just do it myself. Um, that $40 clipper I bought, you know, 30 years ago definitely way paid for itself. <clears throat> Hmm. Blue Wolf, hi. How are you doing today? I'm waiting on glue to fuse those two parts together. Uh, it was supposed to be good and done, but apparently not. So let's go and have a look and see now. Are we good? Oh, looks like we're we're getting close to good. We're not quite there yet. I saw it move. So, we're going to leave it. We're going to leave it alone. We're not going to... It takes a while, I guess, for that stuff to, to fuse together. It's probably worse because of the primer. But it's not like I primed in that spot anyway, so... It's really weird. Yeah, Crazy Kiwi and I go way back. Well, way back. A couple of years now? Um, yeah, he's a wonderful streamer out in out in New Zealand that streams a lot of Lego building. Really cool guy. Yep, yep. Build Lego. He just built a leg. Uh, he just built a Star Wars set last week. He was telling me. Uh, I don't think you ever told me which. <laughs> Yeah, it's in your name. It's in your name. And so am I. So get along quite well. <laughs> um, yeah, so which which Star Wars set is it? Or, or did, you, did you tell me? I'm trying to remember. Star Wars. Yeah, no, I don't think you ever told me. Well, Bushman just went to bed. I'm still up for your morning stream. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I'm glad. I'm glad you are. I'm on, as you can see, a whole hour early. Like I started it ten minutes ago and wasn't, w didn't really know if anyone was going to be around. But I figured, as long as I'm sitting here waiting on glue to fuse two parts together, I might as well go live and see if anyone's around. So and Crazy Kiwi showed up almost immediately. So I'm glad. I'm glad I went live because uh, we had a chance to get caught up. It, it'd been a while. So. Oh, I am so jelly. Executor Superstar Destroyer. Every time I tried to get it, it was out of stock. What a wonderful set that is. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah, it's out of stock in Canada all the time. It's, it sells like cupcakes. It's, uh, it's a really sweet price point for what it is, eh? And, uh, hmm. And it looks good in the background, you know. It looks good in many different, uh, many different, you know, settings you might have. So, uh, as an example, right there, I could have it behind Winnie the Pooh's house, and and it would look like the Superstar Destroyers, and you know, just in the background, far away. So it's just, yeah, it's it's really cool. Mandalorian Fang Fighter versus Die Interceptor. Oh, I don't think I know that one. It sounds really cool. I know what a Fang Fighter is. And I also know what a Tie Interceptor is. Hmm. Cool. Cool. That's awesome. So yeah. Got my water. 75348. Let me have a look. Copy. Paste. Oh no, I, I hadn't seen that set. Wow. It's really cool. The minifigs with it are, are awesome. And oh my gosh, the price point is high though. Holy freaking crap! It's one hundred and thirty dollars Canadian. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, it's a nice like mid scale superstar destroyer. Um, anyway, it's a wonderful set. I quite I quite like it. Let me show um, let me show the set the set that So this is the Mandalorian Tie Fighter, Tie Fighter versus uh, Tie Interceptor. The Fang Fighter, yeah, that's that's the shape. It's the shape I figured it was, but the color—I don't know. I don't remember the color being this. They, they must have been that color in the show, so, huh? But that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, when I saw the price, I almost fell off my chair. I was like, 130 bucks? Holy crap. That's that's a lot. I suppose you get two ships. But it's, it's weird. Ah, the new ghost. I have the old ghost. But I have to admit, the new ghost is very, uh, very, um, very appealing. Let me go back here, disc. It's a really good plan. I uh, I just ordered um, the, the Indiana Jones set, uh, the one the one that's like Egyptian themed, with the two column type of. Uh, guys with the snakes and all that um I, d I don't own well the now and now i don't own a single indiana jones set and i'm a, I'm a pretty big fan and it's it's one from raiders of the lost ark and uh, the reason i ordered it is because i had a 20 dollar gift certificate at a, at a particular store online and essentially paid for almost half of it so can't complain Yes, yeah, snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Yeah. So yeah. So at some point I'll be, be I'll be building that. Uh, I'm definitely running out of room. Uh, so I may be on building sets eventually. Uh, particularly like uh, winter stuff, seasonal stuff. Um, Maybe some smaller sets like the the Lego the little toy store here. Maybe I don't know. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to to, to make a few choices here, a few hard choices here, because <laughs> I'm running out of room. And I just made room for more miniatures down here by moving some of the stuff. Oh, let me close this. So. Um, all right, so how's that? My God, I mean, I let it set. It seems to be taking forever. I don't know why. Uh, it's really weird. Now, what I could do is uh, figure out the colors for those three guys so we'll let me see yeah we'll definitely have some yeah we have some tails so we'll have that yellow um, we'll have well we have gold this is the gold then we have the silver copper I was thinking of going copper on these like mid units, but these guys really are elite. So I'm thinking those guys might actually be going gold. But because they're so odd and off the wall, yeah, I'll probably do copper, probably do copper. Uh, we'll have some Ustabi bone. Yes, we will. Uh, we won't have any gold. Nope. 
Uh, we'll have some mission. Will we have some mission gray? Yeah, we will on the backpacks. Uh, we won't have bl that blue. Nope. Uh, we will have that red. Some of the capes. Uh, we'll have the fang on the guns. And there you go. So we, we got some of the colors figured out. Uh, but their main color is going to be pink. So let me go and get pink. Oh, it's the final duel from Deathly Hallows Part 2. Oh, very nice. Very nice. pink here that is all I'm going to need oh uh, yeah no worries no worries take care crazy kiwi good sleeps so I think we're good to move it It's not super solid. I can tell. I can't tell that I can't really lift it off the ground. It's almost there. Like I, I did this one myself. It's not having any issues, and it's a similar one where, you know, it was fused. Was it fused there? Oh, I don't think it was. Oh, yeah, so that's probably a small design flaw when you think about it. Well, not that small of a design flaw. It's pretty big design flaw, but anyway. So it's for the thumbprint. Ah, okay. Because it's got I don't protect her to see you. Ah, okay. Come on. Come on. It's yours now, so. <laughs> so. Yeah, one of my fighters broke when I uh, when I lifted it from its base. Not only did the base stay uh, here, but the it actually snapped off at the. It didn't. I mean, it's it's an actual fusion point, but clearly it's not fusing as it should. Plastic glue. It's supposed to be fusing the stuff together. Okay, it's good now. Mostly. Jesus, no, it's weak. Weak. All right. You know what? I'm gonna add more glue. I mean, what else can I do?
Oh, it's like when I added more glue, it, it just kind of, it, uh, it made the entire chemical reaction restart from the start, I think. Oh my God. Cause I can't start, I can't start painting these, these 15, three units of five. I can't start painting them until, you know, they're nice and solid on their bases cause I'll be picking them up all the time and you know, you need to be, uh, you need to be solid. I mean, I have to be able to pick them up like this without any issues, right? gun Is the glue you're using made for the type of plastic for the figurines? Yes, yes it is. It's uh, Citadel plastic glue, what they actually sell at the store, at the hobby shop. So, yeah, that's a good, it's worth, it's worth asking. Because if you use crazy glue, it although it might initially work, it will eventually break off because it, it doesn't actually fuse the plastic together. Whereas this glue, gives the chemical reaction to have the pieces of plastic actually fuse together but it clearly that didn't happen with this one so I'm trying to make that happen so might take a while oh yeah and in, in the meantime I was gonna paint these these are the um, Right. So what I could do is bring that back in there, maybe. Let it sit. There, so these three miniatures. deposited it hopefully it, it does its thing its thing like it's supposed to and uh here people like to see the palette of colors so I've learned and we will have a fair number of uh, colors for this one will we need to get a use a new sheet perhaps yeah we should use a new sheet okay oh all right so this this is a little bit messy Okay, I'm gonna set that here, and I'm almost com yeah, yeah, yeah. I th think I'll go wash this off. 
I'll be right back. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> I hope. Anyway, I'll be right back. So you'll get to see the uh, the entire process, how it works to um, quite a few colors so definitely a good idea to use a new sheet we'll be using two four six seven at least seven colors maybe eight or nine so yeah it uh, it warrants a new sheet So it will fix itself like this. Come on, there you go. So fix itself, <laughs> mostly. There you go, I'll remove the few bubbles that might be there. And there we go, we have a wet palette. So we'll be able to use our paints are not going to dry or not going to dry as quickly. Uh, I've never had any issues with paint uh, drying on me for, for this. Now the reason why I'm doing these three separately from the rest is that I really want to, oh, Oh, and I just realized I need an eighth color. Eighth color. <laughs> Base dryad bark for like some of the pelts. Like these pelts are gonna be brown. 
this, that. Oh my god, the level of detail on these is insane. Oof. Gun, this, this is gonna be copper, this, what have I got? I've got copper here, I've got a copper here, I've got copper here and the fang here. I'm just working out some of my colors ahead of time. This, this will be ashen gray, this will be red. Red, hmm, probably yellow on this. Huh. Wow. What am I doing? Okay, yeah. I don't have so much dobby bone here. Wow. Yeah. No, oh, thanks, Blue Wolf. Yeah, I'm glad I was able to, able to show you. will need some new um, oh I can put the glue away yeah so eight colors <laughs> Even then, there's there's some things here like shit. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do some of this stuff. <laughs> uh, it's a gorgeous figure, but where to start? Maybe start at the top. Maybe start with the red. I don't know. I do the red here. I can also do the red here. Yeah. Now uh, the capes. Do I want the capes? Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking the. Voice. Bah, je vais je vais faire. Puis c'est bon. On y est tantôt là. Yep. Um. What was I going to say? Oh, ad break is in progress. So yeah, there you go. That's that's good. It tells me that there's an ad break in progress so I can focus on not saying anything important. So yeah. Right. I was thinking about using two different reds. So I've got the bale red. Yeah, I'm thinking I'll do the I'll do the capes. Yep. Oh yeah, no worries, uh, Blue Wolf. It wor it tells me now when ads are on. It's new. It Twitch wasn't telling me before, but it, it is now, so I know to kind of stop talking or not talk about anything important. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's really good. Something that should have been, been in place. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when the ads were on, it actually warned me. It told me that there was an ad break in progress. It's pretty cool, huh? That's new. It didn't, it didn't do that before. And it's pretty big and purple, and it's right there in the chat, and I can't miss it. So uh, as long as I keep an eye on chat, I'm good. I'm going to 
it's gonna it's gonna tell me now with my bot hopefully there's a way that I might be able to trigger it'd be nice if I could trigger a sound that way I would know oh ads are on right that way I would stop talking to myself <laughs> Yeah, no, ads are awesome. I mean, um, I don't get many subs, uh, but I do get a fair amount. I mean, it's not a, it's not a huge amount, but if more people watched, I, I would get a fair amount of ad revenue. So just watching the ads really helps folks. So, yeah. You just being here, whether you're active or lurking, um, helps. Helps the, helps the stream tremendously. So, yeah. I... I um, I was I was chatting with a friend of mine in the stream yesterday, and he was talking about his you know short and long term objectives and stuff, and and I thought about everything I've accomplished so far, um, and my actual short to mid term goal, uh, and I know it's not going to happen overnight, and it might mean having to change my schedule, but I would like to have ten. Like a, you know, double digits, 10 average viewers. 10 average viewers would mean there would always be at least one active person in chat, you know, ha trying to get some type of conversation going, right? That's what I'd like to, that's what I'd like to see, basically. Um, and, uh, and I used to get that for a while in the Lego community, uh, but I don't anymore. Hey, Dai, how are you doing? Nice to find you here. Yeah, we, you were there when we were chatting. I uh, was chatting with James, and yeah, we were talking about long, you know, short and midterm objectives. And uh, I think it's, you know, it, it's attainable. It's attainable for sure. Uh, what will I need to do to accomplish that? I'm not 100% sure yet, and I hope it doesn't mean that I have to switch my schedule significantly. But. Yeah, if that's what I have to do, that's what I have to do, right? So, um, all right. So I've got my paintbrush. I've got my bale red for the capes. I've got my doomfire magenta. Um, I have come to collect inventory since I will loot at some point. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. I remember. I remember the. This is an inside joke that we have from uh, Dave's Rogel Dave's uh, stream. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we talked about the the fact that my house has lots of Lego and Warhammer, and it, it would be a good house to loot for some. So, yeah. So you see behind you, and you can control the lights by the way using channel points. I uh, can see behind you that there's a fair amount of of uh, cool Lego sets, you know, like uh, modulars and stuff, and botanicals, and anyway. Uh, but see, I've, I'm starting to convert over. I have Christmas stuff in there, and I sort of moved it all around to make room for miniatures. So I hope this is not the beginning of the end for Lego. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's see what we can do here oh I need water I'll be right back Okay, so yeah, I've got the magenta, the Doomfire magenta. So Doomfire magenta, I want to use on these. More. 
more paint. This contrast paint doesn't uh, doesn't really agree well with going on the palette, so sort of have to do it this way. It's just too um, it's too thin. I've ordered a new light this morning. I've ordered a light that has a, a 5x uh, magnifying in it. Uh, next, like in it, so kind of thing. Uh, it's from Amazon, so I mean, I'll, I'll try it, see if it's any good. So it wasn't overly expensive, but if it can work well, I'm basically going to be able to add a light to my setup. And I would like to. Oh shit, I just realized I painted the back of the knife. I did not want to do that. Okay, we'll pretend this knife is just decorative then. And it is. Let's just say it is. Yeah, we'll paint it red. <laughs> Easy how the decision got made, eh? <laughs> it does it's it was 50 bucks instead of say like some of them were 150 bucks now the ones that were 150 bucks had uh bifocal lenses in them so at some point in the in it you could see at 5x and at some point in it you could see at 20x that it seems overkill i don't even know if 5x will look like but it should be pretty good um and uh anyway we'll we'll give that a try and and if it's any good we'll we'll keep it and if it's not well then you know we have 30 days to return it with uh with amazon so i all right how's that that's that's pretty good right there let me um let me zoom in real quick Oh, a little bit more. Oh, I see. I see what I missed. Painting the underneath, that probably doesn't make a damn difference, but um, I, st <laughs> I still like my minifig to look good from absolutely, um, yeah, it's for Warhammer, so these are, for, these are um, Space Wolves, uh, these are kit bashes, so they're essentially, you know, a mix of different things, I have no idea, I'm not the one that put them together, um, but I know part of this is from a priest, an iron priest. Um, and this guy is, I mean, that guy is awesome looking. So they're meant to be used as commander type of units. And you can name them, you know, you, you, can, you can make stuff up if you want. Um, but yeah, the, you know, I've bought a used collection and it had some kit bashes in it already. And this is a, this is a Terminator, but not really. Uh, you don't really see a Terminator with a gun of this size. Where was that gun found? I have no idea. But it's really, f oh, it's really freaking badass. Look at this thing. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, I figured this morning I would kind of focus on these three, these three uh, minifigures to paint. Because um, they're, they're special, you know? And I don't want I don't I don't know why but yeah I didn't want to save them for the end 
And oh yeah, I was going to paint Wolfen, but then I hit I hit that snag where some of the bases, some of the magnets snapped this morning, so I had to re-glue a few things and anyway. It's all good. Now let's get this. Oh, I'm doing the best I can. My gosh. I'm not nearly as good as Rogel Dave, I'll tell you that. My skill set is amongst the lowest end on Twitch. I, I am well aware of that. Um, but I've seen people that were about of my skill level. So it's not like I'm alone <laughs> in, this, <laughs> in this category. But to be fair, I've been doing this for two months. So it's not like I've been doing some people have been doing this for 30 years 20 30 years uh they've obviously picked up a few tricks along the way and uh yesterday i had a friend actually give me a few tips a few tips i didn't i didn't ask for any but he gave them and i was i'm i'm glad he did he said look i saw you go and you you seem to kind of struggle a little bit he said try and get your hands to, to connect together when you're painting that's a technique that a lot of people find to be good, you know? Doesn't mean that it will work for you, but it works for a lot of people. So anyway, I've been I've been trying this a little bit. And I have to admit that I do gain some serious stability. So I'm not I don't know if I'm gonna connect both hands every single time, but I think I will for for some finer work. Um, so right, right now I'm going freehand because this is easy stuff, right? I'm just, um, yeah, here you go. I can, I can zoom in a little bit more. There you go with my. Yeah, it's overly white, obviously, in primer. It doesn't look that great, but you can see the, you can see the banner. You can see what. See what I've done so far. And uh, there you go. I'm noticing some of the details I've. Mm -hmm. There you go. Look at that. Really good tip. It's a good tip for my friend, the bald GM. A really cool dude. Um, don't ever submit yourself. I don't think I can do that. I don't have the patience for it. And you know what? When I was 20 years old, I never would have started this hobby. Uh, I'm 47, and I started this at 47, right? So um, it's never too late to start. And yeah, you do need patience. And uh, patience is not something I had in my youth. It took a long time to develop some patience. I've uh, having two kids certainly helped. Uh, you know, and, and being married for uh, to 23 years, and being with the same partner for 25 years altogether, uh, certainly helped me develop my patience as well. Um, yeah, and to be fair, I do test our patience quite a bit. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's he said it's funny what happens when you when your hands are touching together. You just gain stability, and you said it's the, it's the pinky technique, you know. If, I mean, connect whatever finger you want, but most of the time it's the it's the pinky that's going to be easiest to to connect. So like this, you gain stability. Because I mean, my hands are not that super steady, you know. Um, anyway, yeah. <laughs> It's different for everyone, die, but any older person will tell you. You know, patience is something you gain through a little bit of wisdom and you know stuff stuff that happens to you through life um, helps you you know develop um, develop that skill set. So, and don't get me wrong, today I, I do not consider myself a patient person, but I guess you know compared to when I was twenty. Heck, yeah, I've come a long way. <laughs> I 
you know, should you choose to have kids at some point, right? Should that be an option for you? Uh, everyone will tell you, you know, your kids will test your patience and they'll, they'll make you into a more patient person. <laughs> That's, <laughs> so, yeah, well, the fact that you hang out with older people like me and Dave certainly demonstrates a certain level of maturity, right? Well, exactly. No, I'm talking later. Oh, yeah. I didn't have kids until I was 31. So I waited. I waited a while. <laughs> I waited a while. I waited until I was really well established in life. I waited until my first house was almost paid for, you know, and uh, Andrew's in. Hi. <laughs> uh, right, right, right. That's 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 the whole reason. That's the whole reason, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> how are you doing? Nice to find you here, friend. Um, okay, so I'm done with the I'm done with this particular red with the Doomfire Magenta. I'm gonna toss it here. Now the the cape, the cape I was planning on going red, but before I do the cape, I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna use the base dryad bark to do the pelts like the really pelty pelty stuff so like um like all this stuff here there's a lot of stuff here there's a a fair amount of stuff here yep and what about this one oh yeah there's down it's down here yeah i shan't i i i can't forget the, the little pelts down by there pelvis Yep. Uh, this is a crazy one. My God, I don't. I have no idea how I'm gonna paint this. It's just crazy. It's completely and utterly insane. I don't know. Anyway, I've started. I'm gonna keep going. I, I will not get discouraged. <laughs> uh. All right. Okay, for this particular paint, I will, um, I will put some on the palette because I do, I do want to, um, I want to thin it out. There. Okay, so let's let's see what we can do here. The technique works quite, quite great. Um, the whole like pinky uh, technique. I'm just uh, 
Taking my sweet time. Oh, I might need to back up the camera a little bit because I'm not working in the I'm not working in the best best of spots necessarily for you guys to see. So let me. Uh, this is better. Although I might might be further away, you're not gonna miss out on uh, on anything. So what do you guys prefer? You guys prefer closer? And then maybe I'll go off frame, or would you rather have this kind of far back? And and I realize many of you don't. Um, Phoenix, hi, how are you doing? I'm really happy to find you here, friend. I'm. Uh, I started um, an hour early today, seven. I'm glad you're early. That's nice. Um, you, normally you're here around 8.30, but yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Had the energy, right? And I well, still do. And uh, I had to wait, and I'm still waiting, <laughs> on, on glue to fuse a couple of parts together. And... Uh, Oh, I see what's going on here. Like a belt. My God. That's crazy stuff. Um, oh, we're, we're painting, um, we're painting a Warhammer Frostwolf kit bash. So these are miniatures that you won't really find anywhere else. Not in this exact format slash configuration. Uh, I've checked with people that really know Frostwolves well, and they're like, yeah, no, no, those are kit bashes. Um, meaning, you know, they're, they're quite unique. So I'm like, okay, cool. That's what happens when you buy a used collection. Sometimes you, you find some interesting things that you won't find anywhere else. Well, there might be parts from, uh, there might even be parts from a different faction in here. I don't know. But this, um, yeah, all right. Thanks, Andrew. My gosh, you take care. Thanks a lot for popping in. It, it really means a lot when people even just take a minute to say hi and, you know, how's your day going and stuff. It's, to me anyway, it means a lot. Okay, now let's try and connect fingers. Okay. okay.
Okay. Oh, I started collecting Lego um, uh, when I was seven years old. Yep, that's when I that's when I started. Um, I popped in in and out of the hobby a couple times. I sold everything and kind of went back in a couple times. Um, I've had a similar relationship to Magic, uh, to, to, to Lego and I've had with Magic. Um, I'm still having a lot of fun with Lego. Uh, but as I'm finding myself drifting more and more towards Warhammer, I'm thinking about... Um, like making room right for Warhammer so in the in a display case so there's that so there's a possibility of unbuilding and selling some and that's the beauty with Lego Warhammer 2 is that it always retains a certain value right granted Lego is a much better investment in Warhammer but that's ah, that's neither here nor there. It doesn't matter. Wow. Yeah, it's insane the amount of dexterity that I've just increased tenfold with that one simple pinky technique that ensuring my pinky is touching the other hand somehow gives me a heck of a lot more stability. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm able to do things that I otherwise would not have been able to do and not nearly as precisely. So, yeah. All right, so we have an ad break in progress. Some of you might still be around, depending on whether you saw ads recently or not. Um, so we won't be talking about anything important. Um, so yeah, I'll tend to be mostly quiet when that happens. It's absolutely wonderful this this new feature of showing, telling me when the ads are on. That's amazing. There we go. So it says my community is back. So you guys are supposed to be back from the ad break. So welcome back. Wow, this is it's an awesome new feature. Love it. Whoops. So I've been going for an hour and ten minutes. And that's pretty much non-stop, so that's that's pretty good. I'm gonna try and finish this belt. And I'm going to plan on, on making myself coffee when I'm done this this pelt in whenever. Be it five or ten minutes, I don't know. Uh, what's the deal with this thing? Yeah, it's probably because you you saw them the last time around, so.
I don't know what color we'll be painting this um, this belt. There's a belt in the middle of the pelt, but it's definitely you know there and it's different. So I don't know. We'll have to maybe another color. See? Belt all the way across? Weird, huh? I mean, not that weird, but anyway, you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, no, there's a whole back of the belt. All right. Yeah, yeah, so my goal would be to try and finish all the pelts, you know, before I go on break, so still going to be a little while. That's a huge bear. See, you've got the you've got the head, you've got you've got a left arm, a right arm, and you've got yeah, and you've got the two feet. Oh, I see what's going on here. Oh my god, that's amazing! Wow. Huh. That's it for this belt. Okay. Now if we move on. Dig through the dishes and burn through the witches. I slam in the back of my Dragula. Sing Rob is going to be next time to scare off the opponents. Oh, I, I'm afraid I don't know Rob. I mean, I know. I know who he is. But I don't know his song. Right. True. Right, you survived D&D. There's a lot to take in, but I mostly enjoyed it. Okay, that's good to hear. Good to hear. Oh my gosh. So you'll go back by the sound of it. Yeah, some people go at uh, one time and they're like, oh, screw this. This is not for me. But... Um, it doesn't sound like this is what happened for you, so... That's good. Many, many uh, neurodivergent people find themselves really liking the Dungeons and Dragons and being really good at it because they're so used to pretending, right? That it's just another, you know, play pretend game. But instead of being real life, it's, you know, it's an actual game. So, you know what I mean? I read that somewhere. Anyhow. Okay. Top of the pelt. Ah, uh, there'll definitely be challenges. I'll try to work on myself. So I think I'll be okay. Yeah. No, and if anything, Phoenix, it, it will help you on the work that you're doing on yourself. Uh, so yeah, my, my advice to you is, you know, definitely, uh, definitely stick with it and, you know, get a few sessions in there for sure.
And by the way, it's no no small feat to find a group, right? You have to realize it's a privilege for you to be able to have a group to play with at a time that's that's actually convenient for everyone, kind of thing. Because uh, it's it's hard. It's hard finding that. So uh, kudos to you. Kudos to you. Just remember that's that's an asset. And if you can get along great, well with the person that you're, the people you're working, you're playing with, then then all the best, right? If your group can have great energy and uh, you can conquer anything, you know, you can you can kill lots and lots of bad things together and save the world. Oh, I did not know that, Blue Wolf. That's, uh... Okay, one of the wolves was missing its head. The head went here. And it cut off a head. The head's on top. Oh my god. I get it now. Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay. Uh, also, my brother said it was unacceptable of me and his little sister to use virtual dice for everything. I need a physical set too. Apparently used to keep like pounds of assorted dice on hand so that he could loan give them to people who needed them. He has run out at this point, but ordered me more, and I get first choice of the lot that comes in. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. No. For sure. You. You, you need. You need real dice. It's just not this. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I. I. Uh, I would not allow that either. It just. Just not the same experience. Yeah, if you were closer, I would give you some dice. I have ton. Tons, 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 tons of them. I have some left over from when I had a shop. Pretty sure some of them are that. Yeah, some of them are that, actually. Yeah, I know that, so. There you go. Peltier is done. And on this one... We just have that, but it doesn't really look like a pelt though. I think I'll go yellow on this one. Yeah, I'll go yellow on that one. Yep. Okay. So let me have a look at those pelts. That's absolutely awesome.
there. Just touched up a few things. As long as I was, you know, having a look. And Mike san hi. It's been doing really good lately at showing up at every single stream. Just so you know, it does not go unnoticed. Thank you so much. It means a lot. There. I was just about to go on break. I'm, uh, I've been going for almost an hour and a half, one hour and 23 minutes. So when I just finished the pelt and, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'll set up the game actually. Yeah. So, and I'll set it up this time so that it restarts on its own. So just bear with me folks. I'll, uh, there you go. I'll take care of words on stream. Autopilot is on. There you go. And you know what? I'll set the volume much lower. So that, uh, there you go. Final words. Start. There. Now I'll go full screen. There we go. Have fun. I shall be back. Go on break. Oh. I'll stop the music. There.
I see them. <clears throat> okay, let's see what I missed up. What I missed. Um. Okay. I won't stop meowing. What? Did I start to walk? Okay, sorry. I just needed, wanted to check on the cat. All is well, so. There we go, I've got my coffee. Hmm. I'm using this, uh, it's not soy milk, it's like coconut and something else. Something my son likes, anyway. Try to figure I would use that, try to use that for my coffee and it's, it's okay, but it's not very good. <laughs> oh well. You never try new things, you never know what you might discover. Hmm. Alright. So what color? What color are we going to do next? Hmm. Ah, oh, really? Interesting. Yellow Strolls Online had a really fantastic event going. They had a fashion show in game for Pride the um, Pride Month, and it's a friend of mine that organized it. His name is Locke, and. Um, Anyway, yeah. <clears throat> so backpack, weapon, weapon, backpack. Do we have backpack here? Yeah, we have backpack here. So it's gonna be ish and gray. Here we've got a huge cape. Yeah, we've got maybe backpack there. Just trying to think here. Do I go pink right now? Or do I wait until I've done other stuff? No, I'm thinking I'm at, I'm at pink now. Yeah. Emperor's Children. Yeah, yeah, cool, eh? Red pink. <laughs> okay. Okay, keep the guys here. There's going to be a fair amount of pink needed. We're talking about three, mi three miniatures here. So, there. I go like this. I'm going to thin out this paint properly. Yeah, I'm getting the correct amount of bubbles here and stuff. Yeah, there you go. Nice. So where to start? I'm going to start on this one. So. Okay, this is definitely way too much paint. I know that. 
but I'll be picking it up, not to worry. I'll be picking it up and redistributing shortly. Yeah, so my elite units are so badass that they go on the battlefield in the pink colors. They don't need to try and camo in any way, shape, or form. Because they know they're going to win. No matter what. Well, fucking Christ. This is way too much. Way too much. Uh, paint. Yep. Helmet is pink. All right. Okay. Music. Need to restart the music. Music, music. Yep. Sip of coffee. Hmm. Pink Starburst. Starburst. Yeah, I agree. I agree.
The squirrel! Hi! How are you doing today? Okay. So. It's coming along. You gotta take care of the legs now. Okay, there you go. That's the bottom part. You got the knee. Uh, got this medallion of the wolf here on the side. It literally looks like a Geralt of Rivia's <coughs> medallion of the wolf. It's funny. Oh, and uh, a couple days ago, I did place an order with my uh, friendly local gaming shop uh, for some Sylvaneth, some flying units. Uh, forget what they're called. But anyway, they look really cool. They're flying. And... Uh, The suggested color scheme to paint them is actually not bad, so maybe I'll, I don't know, we'll see. I doubt I'll go in their direction, but I'm sure I'll do my own thing. Okay. Yeah, more. A squirrel's one of your besties. Okay, okay. That's cool. I mean, everyone here is welcome, but you're that much more welcome. You know, friends of my friends are also my friends, right? So, I, I've seen you around before. I didn't realize you were one of Phoenix's besties. That's, that's awesome. Phoenix is one of my besties, so there you have it. By extension, we're also besties. Maybe. At the very least, that makes us friends. <laughs> okay. 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 That's coming along. And that's just one of them. This is a lot. It's a lot on the brain. On the brain cells. It's a lot of focus needed, which I struggle with, you know. I do have a ADHD. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, trying to finish this up. Okay. 
We'll touch up a few things. Just noticing some white here. Okay. There. Okay. Oh, a little bit more here. Bum. There. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. Phew. I need to... I need to just rest my eyes for a few seconds. Let's move on to the next one. Oh my gosh, this guy is just puny. Ugh. Where do I start? I'll just start with the shoulder. got this after painting the kind of stuff I've been painting the last couple days those really big pieces it's really difficult to come back to such a tiny tiny piece Yeah, 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 you you got it. it. It gets to my eyes when I... But I ordered a lamp that's sort of a, a lamp and a magnifying glass at the same time. I'm hoping it, it will help me. Because, uh, uh, yeah, I'm having a hard time. Today's my last streaming day for, for the week. But... Let's be honest here. I'm probably going to be on at some uh, some point in the next three days, before next Monday, right? Um, because I'm on a roll with painting these guys, and let's face it, I'm addicted to both this hobby and streaming, right? I don't know why I stream so much, but I I like it so. And as long as there's people that are, you know, no, exactly. I can't stay away from you guys long. It's, it's, uh, I literally physically hurt. I miss you guys, you know, so I, um, I have to come back. So, <laughs> but, but it's good to try and possibly take three days off in a row, you know, if I can. Somehow, you know, my wife's like, oh, let's go away for the weekend. Okay, sure, sure, dear. No problem. You know, I don't have anything scheduled. I don't have anything to cancel. It's it's all good. I think it's better that way. It's better to have a default of, uh, of not being on, basically, for Friday, Saturday, Sunday.
And also, it allows me to get on. If I do get on, I get on at I get on at weird times. You know, I can get on at 2 p.m. in the afternoon if I want to. Uh, I can get on at 5 a.m. if I want to. <laughs> Whatever the case may be. So. <clears throat> I've gone on at all sorts of different uh, the roll is a powerful thing hmm man I want to eat so bad it's gonna be be a long hour oh are you doing some sort of uh fasting diet or anything like that where right 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 being on the roll right 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 so yeah for 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 a while now i've been i've been pretty good at sticking to my schedule my health has allowed me to to stick to that schedule let's be frank i mean i'm at the mercy of how how well i'm doing um, physically and mentally what time is it nine o'clock yeah not sure what time the uh the booth opens for um i need to go get a sim card for my wife for uh, her phone I need to activate. Okay, bye. Have fun. Je vais je vais aller au mall tantôt que Jasmine, là. Je vais aller au centre d'achat tantôt que Jasmine, là. Si elle veut toujours y aller, là. Oh, really, really difficult to paint this. My gosh. Jeez. Okay. There. I painted the back of these legs. Even though, I mean, no one's probably going to ever look there, but it, it's really difficult to, uh, to paint. All right, so I've been on for two hours. Not bad. If it wasn't for my eyes. Having such a hard time. I could probably go like a whole three hours, but I need, I'm gonna need to rest my eyes eventually. Jesus fuck. Okay. Found a piece of I don't know what. Anyway, it's gone.
Okay. There you go. Whew. This is difficult. Okay. Let's have a look at this last one. Yeah, that's a crazy mofo. Can't believe this guy. Like, seriously, I can't. Jesus fucking Christ. Ah, this is just rough. This is, this is really, really difficult.
Okay, that's, that's the best I can do for now. She's normally so well behaved. Um, a kaiju tried chewing on last night. She's normally so well behaved. Chewing on my faint fella late. She did. Oh my gosh. What a bad girl. Seriously. That is not good. Probably need probably needed attention. Trying really hard to focus on this, but uh, <coughs> it's getting increasingly difficult. I'm doing the best I can. Try and, I don't know, try at least finish the upper body, maybe? That'd be nice. Finish Finishing the upper body pink. That's an attainable goal. My gosh. Okay, let's touch things up. Ah, shit. Still needs to... Okay. How's that? Okay. Okay, there you go. All right, not bad. Is there a different model? No, 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 there really isn't. Um, but that's okay. Uh, excuse me. I've, um, yeah, I'll do the pants. I'll do the, the bottom body pink later. The only reason why it's so hard is because my eyes are tired. That's all. Maybe we'll maybe we'll play some Magic the Gathering or something for um, the rest of the stream. I'll figure something out. There, let's close this up. Close up the wet palette. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'll go clean this in the sink real quick. I'll be back.
this is nice and clean. This, that. Okay. Right. Here, got this, and that, bring the desk back up, water it closer. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. want to if people want to have uh, words on stream or something while uh, while you watch me paint yeah not a bad idea um, hang on I do need to rest my eyes cause just give me a minute good. Oh, I hear you. So, uh, sensor screen cap. What the heck is that doing there? Okay. Let's see what we uh, do. You do the 20 20 20 rule when you're doing minis. Uh, 
I didn't know. I don't know about that. I don't know what that is. Oh. I have a pack, it seems. Let's see what we get. Okay. Okay. We'll keep going with the blue. Finish that quest. Oh, and I need to switch my category. that updated it's good Nazgul. Are you gonna swing or what?
się. Every 20 minutes a person is focusing in their vision at looking at the screen. They should be at 20 feet away for 20 seconds. Oh, really? I did not know that. Actually, do it every ten minutes. Good for you. closer get the mic a bit closer oh my camera's not even there the fuck there okay now we need uh, black or red okay we can play this Okay, that's good. Yeah, I mean, Magic's a great game. Ah, they're playing Ragavan as well. Pretty sure I've played them before.
Right, I should have gotten rid of their Ragavan. Yeah, that would have been... That would have been the smart strategy. That's all good. I'm just trying to get a quest done. Oh yeah, people do. I have. Oh yeah, otherwise a game wouldn't exist, right?
Yeah. <laughs> Magic the Gathering? Addicting? No. What are you talking about? <laughs> Good game. There you go. Just check when when that boutique opens, uh, Roger. to go and see in person I guess because it doesn't show but uh, how are we doing yeah yeah I did my quest and stuff that I set out to do um, I, don't, I don't really feel like m m much else let me let me see who See who we could raid to. Oh, my gosh, we can raid one of my favorite people. There you go. <laughs> All right, folks. Um, thanks so much. Th thanks so much for hanging out. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, yeah, we did. I did pretty good today. Yeah. So uh, let's keep this momentum. Like I said, there's a good chance I'll stream at some point in the next three days. Uh, so stay tuned for alerts. You know, I'll be posting to Twitter and Facebook, Instagram as well when I go live. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Without further ado, let's go see my friend Andy, Andy's Lego. And uh, that's it. It won't be too long here. I'm just getting the raid started. And 
there we go peace out